Welcome back to MLT World. Today, friends, I will show you the working of biochemistry machine that is CAM 200. This is now you can see it's already running the samples. This is the sample tray. I zoom and this is the reagent probe, and these all are the reagents. That one you can see the white white tubes that is washing area. This first one is diesel water, and next all are reagents. That close one we are close because that is not in use. That's why close. And here we can keep samples directly. You can keep the tubes also, and you can keep sample cups also. Now in machine is running. You have to be very careful. But I will show you. These are the cups for controls we are using and can run samples also. But samples you can keep in up and drop so that you can save your cups because these are expensive. So like that it will work. This is Jisan and it's Camp 200. Now if we will go to the main screen, first section we will start from first section and first section is reagents. You can see all are numbered 11, 12, 13, 14 but this is not barcode. We assign the positions. Here we assign manual replacement. If you will click auto then only machine will give you the program and you have to keep according to that. So it's better to keep manual. Now but it will show the level of reagent as as it will show. You see now albumin only 1 ml left, calcium is 7 ml and glucose is just near to finish. So how many tests left we can go in monitor and here I will go to the down and here we can check the test you see glucose now 4 tests left other uh, still more so it means glucose is near to change and if any error will come it will come here and here we will can clear the solution these all are calibrations valid and if red means these are expired next section is samples now here we will program now here you can see it there are three sections first one is sample next one is calibrator and next third one is control if you have to keep patient we will keep patient and we will select cups because now we are keeping in cup and here we will select see them and here we can click auto so it will assign the position if we want manual then we have to type manually and if any test we want to run urgent you can keep urgent and then we will add after this second one is calibrator for other all tests separate but uh, same calibrator but for CRP LDL and HDL separate separate calibrators similarly control for all tests same multi calibrator but for CRP LDL and HDL separate controls next section is work list first when we will assign the name if calibration we will go to this section if qc we will go to this section but for test we will choose the patient name and we will program green means these tests are selected and here you see if completed it will be green if blue means it's running and if it will be red color it means there is error sorry my hand so these all are still running next section is method in which all programs methods available like for example calcium how is the method reagent how many sample calibration needle all method it will come that is for always done by method or program is done by engineer if need to change they can change or you can also change they will tell you the password of uh, uh, sorry my finger again came in front of camera okay next section is 
QC. So there are two QC, but for HDL QC is three. Now you see this QC is calcium. Similarly, we will check one by one albumin, alkaline phosphatase. Here it means we need to adjust our mean, direct bilirubin, total bilirubin. Same like QC2, albumin, direct bilirubin, total bilirubin. Like that we can check all control. So this is like semi-automatic analyzer. Now again I will go to the work list and I will check which which test is completed. If you have to select one by one you can click inspect and you can note down one by one so that it will avoid any type of error. So this is the semi-automatic analyzer but washing is one good point there is washing done inside. Okay now there are two things there are this is the distilled water can and this is the wash buffer solution i will turn okay this is the wash buffer solution as you can see we are preparing there is one systemic solution coming with that systemic solution we will prepare this wash buffer and waste will come in this can when the waste will be full or on daily basis you can discard the waste so this is the analyzer this uh, the sun came to 100 analyzer is from uh, italy but i this analyzer is very good easy to use uh, very less consumption of reagent and here we write all reagents opening date it's better to write opening date then stability after opening and expiry date when you will change you can write so you will know the expiry of your reagents better to keep cover close to avoid any type of uh, contamination dust this just we keep the cup because it was giving alarm so like that you can cover so this is the analyzer chem 200 i hope you understand the program of this machine if i got the chance to introduce any other analyzers of biochemistry sure i will get introduced with you thank you so much until that take care and this is the jisan chem 200 that i introduce with all of you thank you